Hello, this is Dr. Paul Fernhaber, and today we're going to do another 10 minutes of truth. So we're going to talk about a very big, important, audacious subject today. What causes autism? So <clears throat> we know that right now one in eight, at least 88 children are autistic. I've heard one in 66, I've heard one in 39 boys, but we'll do the conservative figure, one in 88. There's a study that was published in 2014 in a journal called Computational Biology. And this, this study looked at, is there a relationship between toxicity and autism, environmental toxicity? Now, let's look at some of the things the article talked about. They looked at medical records of 100 million people. And they know that autism correlates with genital malformations in newborn males. And they said this, this malformation in newborn males is an indicator of exposure to harmful environmental factors during congenital development. Now, we know that during a, a, a period, during the first trimester of pregnancy, that boys are very, very sensitive to exogenous chemicals in the environment, things that come in to the mother that the mother doesn't make herself. And so um, during, this, during this period in the first trimester, it's not the entire first trimester, but it's, it's during a period, a several week period during the first trimester, males that are exposed to certain chemicals tend to have problems when they're born. And so what chemicals are they? Well, Andrew Retsky at the University of Chicago, who talked about this, that the, the, how sensitive the male fetus is um, to certain chemicals, said there's three primarily classes. Plasticizers, which we're exposed to all the time. I mean, come on, most of our food comes in plastic. Prescription drugs, isn't that interesting? And pesticides. They looked at 3,100 counties in the United States. And what they found is that autism increased by 283% for every 1% of frequency of congenital malformations in, in little boys. So what they found, they know that these malformations come from toxic exposure. So what they're concluding then is that the toxicity the, the, or the, uh, the incidence of congenital male uh, malformations increases with the amount of toxicity in the environment. And they correlated that with the amount of autism in these counties. And so uh, they also found that autism varies widely across the country. In other words, they found that in counties where there was a lot more, um, a, a lot more uh, pesticides, a lot more prescription drug use, uh, a lot more environmental toxicity, that autism rates were much higher. So uh, the conclusion is, is that environment plays a significant role in autism. And they're saying, look, the government, physicians, we all need to look at this because this study is, is uh, a pretty conclusive that there is a relationship between environmental toxicity and autism. So what can you do if you're a mother and you're going to get pregnant? What can you do? By the way, autism occurs much more in, in little boys and girls, although it doesn't, you know, it does happen in girls as well. Well, number one is don't take prescription drugs while you're pregnant. That would certainly be one. Don't use any kind of insecticides or pesticides around the house before dur or during pregnancy. And the third thing is try and limit your exposure to plastics. 
as best as you can. I know it's almost impossible to do this, but try and limit your exposure in that area. And you'll have a better chance of producing a healthy child. Another thing to do is eat foods that detoxify your body. What are those? Well, there's the um, Bricacea type vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, uh, vegetables such as that, that really help your body detoxify at a much more efficient rate. And then there's certain supplements that you can take that also assist in detoxification. So these are certain, these are things that you can do on your own uh, to help your body get ready for pregnancy and you can do while you're pregnant. So very interesting study. I hope this helps you and uh, stay tuned next week. We should do another 10 minutes of truth then. We'll see you then.